morning, everyone, and welcome to Shenandoah University's virtual 2020 commencement. I am Scott Spriggs. I'm the Vice President for Marketing and Recruitment, and I just want to say we are so excited for this day, and I'm going to turn it over to my other panelists, starting with Adela. Buenos días, graduados. I'm Dr. Adela Borrayo Solis. I'm a faculty member in the Languages Department. I teach Spanish, and I am so excited to be here celebrating with you. Uh, felicidades, graduados 2020. Uh, we're so proud of you, and el mundo es vuestro. Uh, let's celebrate. So um, I'm passing it over to Dr. BPG. Good morning, buenos dias, muchísimas felicidades a todos los graduados. We're so excited to be with you here today to celebrate you. Class of 2020 is so special. We're going to miss you guys. I am going to now throw it over to Ryan Romine. Hello, everyone. I'm Ryan Romine. I'm the Assistant Dean for Recruitment in the Conservatory. I'm also the bassoon teacher. So if there are any bassoonists out there, let me know. Um, it's great to have everyone with us, and I'm so looking forward to uh, helping everyone uh, celebrate, especially our conservatory friends. And now I'm going to pass over to Maya. Good morning. I'm Maya Batnagar. I'm from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, and I am a now junior in the theater department for stage management, as well as in the Spanish department. Congratulations, graduates. I'm going to pass it over to Malik. Good morning, everybody. Congratulations to the class of 2020. Uh, I want to get, my name is Malik Henry. Uh, I'm an admissions counselor here at Shadow, and also an alumni. I graduated in May 2018. I want to give a quick shout out to my, FYS, my 2016 FYS class, Self-Awareness and Contact Improv. Uh, it was a great time having you all. Congratulations, like Shenandoah friend. class of 2020. While we wish you could be here today, we look forward to seeing you next time on campus as Shenandoah alumni. Oh, there's our nurses. Awesome. Yeah, and as I mentioned, you know, I'm Scott Spriggs. Uh, we are here as the, uh, the co-host of the event. So feel free to add your comments into the chat. Uh, we've got some people there that are following us along too. We want to hear from you. So let us know where you're coming from, uh, how far Ooh, away you are. We're already seniors. up to um, over 300 something. people joining something us. Something happened this spring, nearly unprecedented. Yeah, Shenandoah's baseball team did not win ODAC. I know, crazy, right? But seriously, what we've been through this spring, we know from psychology that we're gonna come out the other end and we're gonna be stronger because of it. Just like with exercise, when there's resistance, when there's weights to push against, that's what makes us stronger. And when the world and our situation is putting all this resistance against us, that's gonna help us build psychological strengths that we need to succeed. Things like resilience, things like hardiness, things like optimism. And when we get through this, you all and we all will be stronger because of it. Congratulations. Wow, Dr. King is so brave to make that video in the parking lot of the Happy. Big Good job, man. Matt. Congrats, Matt. We love you guys too. Good job, Brendan. Awesome, our athletes. And I've got some uh, some quick facts here for you too about the athletes. Uh, do you, does anyone know how many athletes are graduating today? Aaron, Aaron, Aaron. Congratulations. I have 1,270 athletes graduating today. <laughs> not quite, not quite. We've got 84, 84 athletes. And, uh, and 26 of them have won an ODAC championship. Wow. No that's surprise. Awesome. No surprise, yeah. that's right. Mm -mm. That's awesome. Oh, I bet that was at the Apple Blossom Carnival. Oh, yeah, that that's a beautiful view. What a great place. Like the mountains in the background. Old, Old Town! town. Woo. We'll be there in no time. Velia, way to go, runners. Oh, TikTok. Uh-oh. 
I could not do that. <laughs> nope. I might fall. Oh, Clelia, congratulations. Clelia. Yeah, and just a reminder to everyone who's sending in chats, uh, flip your chat over to all participants and all attendees. And then that way, everyone, everyone can see you guys uh, give a shout out in the chat. Natalie! Our nurses, thank you, nurses. We love yes. you guys. I love, love the nurses. puppy. Thanks <laughs> to any oh. alumni nurses who are out there already, already working on the front lines. How beautiful! Great picture. Oh, oh yeah. holidays! Happy holidays! It's not be that. Go practice. Good nurses, day. yay! <laughs> This message is for Hannah Henry. I just want to tell her how much I love her, how proud I am of her. I can't believe the four years have come and gone so quickly, Hannah, and you've worked so hard, graduating with two degrees, some, while working two jobs, sometimes even three. God, girl, I don't know how you did it, but you did. And I couldn't be prouder, and my heart couldn't be fuller. I can't wait to see where your next journey takes you. I love you, Papa. Be good and keep doing good. Team, all right. <laughs> all right, we're up to 400. 400 party oh, points. Wow, that's more awesome. holidays. <laughs> we love our athletes. I want to start off by thanking my family. You guys have been truly amazing and supported me unconditionally over the past four years. It's been nothing shy of a roller coaster, but you were always there for me in moments of hardships and moments of joy. You were always there to support me. Thank you to SEO as a whole for providing me with amazing life-changing opportunities like my first two international travels and being part of the first ever national championship cheer program. Thank you to faculty and staff that I've built amazing relationships with over the past four years. I can't wait to keep in contact and see the great work that you do at SU. Thank you to those in the nursing program who have pushed me to be able to achieve my dreams and goals and aspirations. Thank you to those who even pushed me into leadership roles, helped me, advised me, and shaped me into the person who I am today. Thank you to my nursing cohort, who has truly been my backbone in the past two and a half years. You're all amazing, and I can't wait to see the difference that we get to make in this world. Thank you to everyone who has impacted me in the past four years. I couldn't have done it without each and every one of you. In the future, I'll look forward to working in a neonatal ICU unit and helping those who are in need. And as my cohort says, let's go make miracles happen. That's right. Yes. Love it. I love that. Love it. Make some miracles. Yeah, we, we need had the to chance now. To work, we had the chance to travel to South Africa together. She's amazing. Oh, the HLSB studs. Dance seniors. Yeah, yeah. dance. It's just representing. Oh, the SDU. That's the, that's the main photo op right there. Oh, that uh, a, that's a good one, too. And if you guys come back to campus, definitely get photos. Get, get photos. It's open for Yes, MT Seniors. Yes, come back for homecoming, please. We want to see you guys in person. Spanish, yes. That's free. We love you. We're so proud of you. Good job, Bree. Mitzi, Kyle. Mitzi and Kyle, yeah. Oh, we miss you. Yeah, football. Football, represent. <laughs> the leaks that bring back memories. It does bring back memories. Look at them. They're ready to go. They're ready to go. This game day. Game day. That's right. Yeah, the SU again. Color run. Color run. Who's done the color run? Anybody? I've there? never done. I always wanted to. Do it. This is an extremely tall snowman. Giant snowman. <laughs> Yes, Meredith. All right, Meredith. Woo! Way to go. I would like to thank my mom, my dad, and my aunt Susan for helping me through this process. I know I could not have done this without them, and I'm truly thankful that they have always been supportive of me. I would also like to thank Miles, who has been by my side through this whole journey. Thank you all. We did it. Hey, Olivia. Hi, Olivia. Shout out for my dancers. Our dancers. Yeah, here we go. The rock. Oh, oh, there. Looking regal. Right, looking good. 
Wow, that's a great picture. What a beautiful day. There's no such thing as other people's children. To my FYS children, to my exercise science children, and to all of my Hornet children, I love you and I am so proud of you. Congratulations, class of 2020. Those of you who are disappointing, I'm Scott Spriggs and I've got my other co-hosts. I'm going to ask them to reintroduce themselves. Go ahead and tell it. Yes, so I'm Dr. Adela borrell solis I'm a faculty member in the Languages Department. So excited to be here today. Brian? I'm Brian Pierce Gonzalez. I'm also in the Languages and Cultural Studies Department. I'm so excited. Muchas felicidades, graduados. I'm going to throw it over to Ryan Romine. Hello, I'm Ryan Romine. I'm the Assistant Dean for Recruitment in the Conservatory. I'm going to throw this over to Maya. Good morning. I'm Maya. I'm a now junior in the theater stage management uh, program as well as the Spanish program, and I'm going to toss it over to Malik. Uh, good morning, everybody. Congratulations, class of 20, uh, 2020. My name is Malik Henry. I'm an alum, a missions counselor, and uh, just we are so glad that you could join us this morning. Great. Andrea is saying hola to you guys. All right. Hola, hola. All right. Hola. Austin, congratulations. Hola. That's my favorite. Proud of you, bud. Love you. Proud. Anyone at home joining in with their pets? Anyone at home with their pets? <laughs> no, I don't have any pets. Josh! Well, He's in my OS chat. <laughs> Congrats, Josh. Montevideo! Qué rico! Beautiful. Ooh. Oh, oh, that must be down at Massa Nutton. Snow tubing. I've never been to snow tubing. Oh, you should go. Congratulations, Taylor. Oh, Doug's out there. Doug's watching. Oh, the oh. <laughs> the loaf. Nice. Oh, Brad. Congrats, Brad. <laughs> Happy. Good friend. Best dog picture ever. Oh, that's a good picture. I wonder how many photos have been around the SU. What do you think? Yeah. Half a million? I think seen a million? <laughs> Good job, Aaron. There, there's Bear's Den. I can oh, see I my house from here. <laughs> All right, I love the song. Oh, yeah. Oh, what a great Today picture. From the main show. This awesome portrait. Minutes. National Portrait Gallery. Nice. On behalf of all of us in the music therapy program, we would like to do a special congratulations to our graduating students, both graduates and undergraduates, for your stellar work. We wish you every success and all the best as you move forward in your careers in music therapy, wishing you and your families the best. Congratulations. All right. Therapy. What a great shout out. All right. Happy. Yeah. Hey, oh, Jan! Oh, yeah. That's the mother-son graduating duo. Mother-son graduation. That's awesome. That's phenomenal. Oh man, Let's look at that TikTok. picture. Let's see a TikTok wow. from that. Emily, way to go! Get it, girl. Yeah, I got a, another another athlete. Oh, film students, we just want to oh, say okay. congratulations. You did it! Yay! Yay! Yay. <laughs> We have 38 athletes who've been named all the, uh, all ODAC uh, during wow. the year here. So that's uh, awesome. Yeah, congratulations, guys. They're pretty amazing. Yeah, it's great students. These are great pictures. So we also have uh, congratulations, class of 2020. You're an amazing group of students. You can accomplish anything. You've definitely proven that. I can't wait to see you walk across that stage at graduation. Congratulations. Thank you, Amy. Girl Amy. Scout cookies. <laughs> Tagalongs are the best. That's right. That's right. Never. <laughs> to all of the graduating students of the class of 2020. We in the exercise science department say. Congratulations. 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 To our wonderful exercise science students moving on. We know we can't celebrate with you in person. But we will, in time. So until that time, take care of yourselves. Have fun. Be healthy. And keep in touch with us. Stay thirsty, my friends. Cheers. 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 Dr. Parker is the most interesting man alive.
<laughs> Ooh, the dorms. Storms. Oh, the student center. That's a great picture. Uh-oh, class. That's actually a classroom. <laughs> class. Congratulations, Ashley. We're so proud of you. Love, Love you. you. Good job, Ashley. Good job, Ashley. Looks like a se yep, senior day. Congrats, ladies. Oh, Halloween. Yay. It must be. Superheroes, then. Uh-oh. Volleyball players must be. Look how tall they are. <laughs> and I got to tell you, so so today we have 40 states represented in our graduates, including wow. Hawaii. Including Hawaii. That's awesome. Wow. Hey, yeah, give us a shout out. What state are you guys from out there? Give a shout out in the chat. Congratulations, Just Josh. We're so very, very proud of you, and we know that you're going to have a wonderful life ahead. We love you. Good job, Josh. Oh, that's a good picture. That is. That's awesome. They're so happy. Oh. Oh. That's Who's got their Shenandoah star with them? Who's got their star ready? Yes, December graduates. Go ahead to Boston. Kyle. 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 You. Such a beautiful soul. Yeah, ODAC champs. Hey, Scott, how many ODAC champs do we have? Yeah, so we've got, uh, we've got uh, 38 have been named. Uh, or, I'm sorry, for, for the ODAC championships, 26 have won an ODAC yeah. championship. Nice. Congratulations, Congratulations Janet. Janet and Ben. We're yeah. very proud of you. We Keep the good work. We both love you. All right, Janet and Ben. 2020 graduates, congratulations, Shenandoah. You are sons and daughters of the stars. <laughs> that was oh, amazing. He's awesome. You're my favorite, Justin. Oh, my God. That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Good job, Hannah. But also, yeah, um, I just... Oh, I love that picture. Yeah, of, of the graduates of the ODAC championships, 13 are baseball, uh, four for women's basketball, five for field hockey, and four for track and field. That's right, wow. that's right. That's awesome. That's Rachel, congratulations on your graduation. You've done amazing. Ben, we are so proud of you and all you've accomplished at Shendo in the past three years. Whether in the classroom or on the field, you've given it 100% and surpassed all expectations. We love you and can't wait to see you continue to grow as you start this next phase of life. Congratulations. Congratulations. You've, you've earned, earned it. it. Congrats. Congratulations to the 2020 graduating class at Shenandoah University. We are very proud of you, Mackenzie, and we love you very much. Go, go Hornets. Hornets! Yeah, go Hornets. That's right. Oh, there's Rachel going to Georgetown for her PhD. ASU grads. Rachel Lombardo here from Career Services. I just wanted to congratulate you on your graduation and share a quick message for you. I too was really, really looking forward to walking across that stage alongside you as I'm graduating with my master's degree from SU this year. I know we can't celebrate as we normally would, but we absolutely still need to celebrate our accomplishments. As far as I'm concerned, commencement is just the beginning, especially as far as career services is concerned. We are here for you for life and I cannot wait to connect with as many of you as possible to see what you're planning for your next steps and how I can support you in that journey. My message to you, stay strong, trust the process, and congratulations. Oh, career service is so good. Congrats, class of 2020. All right, Leah Quick. Ryan, what were some of the... Your favorite moments from 2020, Ryan. Give us some of your favorite moments. Ah, oh, from 2020. Mmm. Congratulations, Shannon. From Uncle Mickey and Aunt Bev. Best of luck in your future endeavors. Love, love you. you. Congratulations, Congratulations, Shannon, from both of, of us. us. Love you. Congratulations. Congratulations. Oh. Congratulations, Shannon. You can check this one off your bucket list. We're proud of you and we love you. Congratulations, Shannon, you made it. Yay! Yay! Good job, Shannon. Yeah, SC Lacrosse. Hi, Drea. Congratulations on your graduation. 
We're so proud of you. Best wishes in Charlottesville as you begin your nursing career. Love you. Dawn. Congratulations. Oh, oh, it's on. Oh, is it on? Yeah, it's on. <laughs> <laughs> it's a dysfunctional family. Congratulations, Congratulations Hannah. Hannah. We love you. <laughs> so proud of everything you've accomplished. That's it. Right. So. Annie, congratulations. You did it, yeah. You're going to New York. We're so proud. Congratulations, Kyle. We're so proud of you. When you left four years ago, it was so hard for me to let you go, but very quickly, Shendo became a second home for you, and that eased your mama's heart. We are so proud of all that you have accomplished and the wonderful, compassionate, and extraordinary, extraordinary young man that you are. We can't wait to see what's next. Go get him. Hey, but I think we all fell in love with Noah from the beginning, but we never really dreamed what a great place it would be and what a great experience you'd have there. Uh, we're very proud of everything you've accomplished at Shenandoah and the person you've become. Congratulations on your graduation and a great four years. We love you. Love you. Congratulations, Maddie. We love you. Congratulations on your graduation, Emily. We are so proud of your accomplishments and the person that you are today. Feel confident to go where you want to go and to be the person that you want to be. Know that we're right there to support you all along the way. Enjoy your special day. It's been hard earned. Congratulations. Buzzy. 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 Maybe he'll make an appearance later. Ooh, that'd be nice. That'd be cool. Can't have commission without buddy, Buzzy. <laughs> Uh-oh. Good vibes. Yeah. All right. Oh, yeah. That's the uh, Shenandoah sparkling cider, I believe. <laughs> <laughs> that is sparkling. Oh, my God. That's fabulous. Awesome. And yes, we are live. I just wanted to um, just give you guys all a shout out. And we, we'll give you an introduction here. We've got uh, up to, we're up to 550 people. Wow. And wow, that's so awesome. I wanted everyone to give a chance to introduce themselves. My name is Scott Spriggs. I'm the vice president of marketing recruitment. We are so, so happy to have you all with us today. And I'm going to turn it over to Adela. Buenos dias, I'm Adela Borrello Solis. I'm a faculty member in the languages department. I teach Spanish. I'm so excited to be here. Felicidades, graduados. You made it. And I'm going to pass it over to Brian. Hello, everyone. Buenos dias a todos. Muchísimas felicidades a todos los graduados hoy. We're so excited for you guys. This is a special class, and we are so excited to celebrate you guys today. I am going to now pass it over to Ryan Romine. Hello, everyone. I am Ryan Romine. I'm the Assistant Dean for Recruitment at Shenandoah Conservatory. And I just want to give my congratulations to everyone out there. Now introducing Maya. Good morning, everybody. I'm Maya Batnagar. I am a now junior in the theater department for the stage management program, as well as the Spanish program. Congratulations, everybody. Now I'm going to pass it over to Malik. Good morning, everybody. Uh, my name is Malik Henry. I'm an alumni admissions counselor, and I just want to give a quick shout out to my 2016 FYS class, Self-Awareness and Contact Improv, and also my best friends, Kelsey, Isabel, Jordan, Jordan, and my best friend, Jordan, who uh, have we've been together since our freshman year, day one, had all of our, uh, really our whole freshman year together. Um, and, you know, we're best friends now, live together, and uh, just congratulations to all of you. Congratulations. That's congratulations. Right. Congrats, everybody. To all the Jordans. <laughs> yeah. A lot of Jordans in my life. <laughs> yes. And um, I wanted to give everyone here a chance to, uh, if you're out there, hey, we're almost up to 600 people. Uh, wow. So wherever you are, uh, we'd like to, to have you give a shout out uh, from where you are in your, uh, if you're coming from your living room, uh, what state you're coming from, we want to hear from you. If you've got your pets nearby, you know, mm -hmm. give a shout out to them as well. Um, but I wanted to ask the panelists, you know, if they could kind of share some of their favorite, favorite graduation moments. Um, I got to tell you, um, I've, got, I've got, it's an exciting day. And one of my favorite, favorite things that we do uh, is when we get out on the field and we, we spell out the year with the graduates. That's one of my, my favorite, favorite things that, that we make happen during this graduation day. So anybody else, what, what's your favorite, uh, favorite memory from graduation? My favorite moments are always, um, I always want the faculty. So, you know, 
Um, when we go to graduation, faculty in the morning are usually quite tired. Um, so the first half an hour, halfway sleep. But then uh, out of the blue, when Tracy starts calling names, we just, I don't know what happens. We just, we get possessed and start yelling. Um, so that's really my favorite moment, all that energy. I would agree with Adela. My favorite part uh, happens as soon as the faculty uh, line enters the, um, the Athletic and Events Center and you kind of make your first eye contact with some of the parents and some of the family and it's just uh, as tired as you are on a Saturday morning you are immediately uh, woken up and uh, you get a shot of adrenaline and you can just see the pride uh, and emotion in the faces of the parents and, that, and that's my favorite part of every graduation. <laughs> One of my favorite parts is the bagpipes. Oh, oh that was pretty cool actually. Yeah. Yeah, so the the bagpipes. Um, I I I always love hearing it because they they play um, they play Shenandoah. But the way the instrument is set up, there's actually one note that they can't play that's in our tune. So there's always one note that's slightly <laughs> off. And I I love hearing it each time because it's it's just such a, a a wonderful idiosyncrasy of of the instrument and of our graduation. That's awesome. Yeah, well, remember I said that there might be a special appearance? Uh, well, man, was I surprised. Was I surprised here? Oh, yeah. Buzzy! Buzzy. Yeah. Not commencement <laughs> without Buzzy. It's definitely not commencement without Buzzy. And Buzzy, do you miss everyone at home? Oh, yeah, we're missing them oh. too. But, hey, you know what? We know they're going to be back on campus. We're looking forward. We've got that. We're, we're working on that idea for coming up for October. So, Buzzy, it's awesome to have you here. Oh, my gosh. Bye, Buzzy. You, Buzzy, we will, uh, we will, <laughs> we'll continue to, to, you know, keep our social distance, Buzzy. Yeah, absolutely. We, we love you. Thank you so much for stopping by. Wow. <laughs> totally surprised by that one. <laughs> you know, that's the Shenandoah magic. You say something, and wow, it can happen. It can happen. Absolutely. <laughs> Yeah, so does anybody else, I, you know, what other magical moments do you feel, um, you know, that you, you know, over the course of time, any, any magical moments, your favorite memory of, from Shenandoah? Um, well, for me, I, I think mine would probably be my commencement um, in 2018. It was just a great moment. Um, the greatest picture of my life was actually taken, and I'm actually going to kind of share that with you right now, um, and I'm going to kind of step out. This is probably like my favorite moment. Um, is when I graduated coming across the stage with the double P awesome, sign. Malik. So, oh, that is a great, great picture, time. Malik. <laughs> that was great, Malik. Great times. Great. And then you got Tracy in the back. You know, she was just oh, yeah. so happy. Oh, great times. Couldn't That's be, awesome. man. Shout out to that photographer, whoever that was. Yeah, I don't know who that was, but thank you. <laughs> that was awesome. That was awesome. So, Maya, you you're going to be graduating next year. What are what are you looking forward to? Um, well, I have two more years to go, but in those oh, two, two more years, more. I'm so excited. It's okay. I'll take it. That means you think I'm mature. Thank you. <laughs> um, in those two years, I'm so excited to continue to learn from people. And I think especially these seniors left such big shoes to fill, but I'm so thankful that they have taught me so many wonderful things that I can continue to share with people coming in and just keep the love going. Wow. Well, we are almost up to 700 people. All right. and, um, wow. Yeah. We're just two minutes away from the main program. Uh, we will start right at 10 o'clock, which is awesome, which is awesome. So we want to thank you guys for all joining us. So who thinks they're the furthest away? If you could add it in the chat, um, definitely throw it out there. We want to know who's, who's coming to us from the furthest away. And, uh, and also, who's got the most of their family watching? Who, who thinks that uh, they may have the most of their family? Let us, let us know in the, in the chat there. I see somebody's from Atlanta, Georgia. Georgia. Okay. All right. All right. Georgia, that, that's far. That's far. I'm about a mile away, if that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. oh, Florida. Oh, Florida. Massachusetts. Massachusetts. Oh, Colorado. Colorado. All right. Ooh, okay. yeah. All right. Oh, New York. Oh, California. California. Yeah. Pebble Beach. Ooh, Cali there. might have it. All right. Yeah. Oh, a couple of Chicago's coming. Nice, nice. Is anybody from... Whoa, uh, Greece. Wait a minute. Greece. Wait a minute. Whoa. Just in Greece. That's what <laughs> I was asking. Somebody from a different country. Nice. That's awesome. Wow. Bolivia. <laughs> Good old Percival, yes. Austria. <laughs> Ooh, Austria, Bolivia. Austria. Look at that. Wow. Oh, whoa. That's awesome. Many fun places. All right, we're going to have to get Google Maps to, to see <laughs> the distance to see who wins. Well, is it nighttime yeah, there? Like, there are... Oh, Ethiopia. Wow. What? Sweden. Well, we are minutes away here. Um, our, our, we're right at 10 o'clock, and I just want to thank the co-hosts. I want to thank everyone. And... Uh, 
what, right now, I um, am really pleased and proud uh, to turn it over to the Dr. Reverend Justin Allen for our invocation. I hope you'll join me in a time of reflection and prayer. Let us join together. Most compassionate and most merciful God, hallelujah. This is the day that you have made and we are glad in it. This is the day when many of us can say we have made it and made the most of it. This is the day when we can remember the late night cram sessions and the 8 a.m. classes and remember that they are over. This is the day when we can have a new appreciation for in-person classes and be so thankful for them. This is the day when we can say that this class may be the most resilient and determined class to ever graduate from Shenandoah University. Loving God, you are the author of community. We give thanks because we can be here at this moment together in a new way. We give you thanks for parents and siblings, professors and mentors, friends and colleagues, children, and of course, the graduates. Let us look forward to the time when we can appropriately greet each other with a loving embrace. Almighty, you are the companion that goes with us. While we pray and give thanks for the accomplishments of today, we acknowledge that this is the culmination of one journey and the beginning of a much bigger one. Call us to this time of reflection and celebration, and then call us to the world that you so love. For surely this is the time for Shenandoah graduates to go out into the world and create communities of compassion, responsibility, advocacy, and justice. Almighty and graceful God, let the journey be remembered and celebrated, and then let the journey continue. It is in the name of the Holy One that we pray. Amen. Good morning, graduates and your families, and welcome to your graduation day. I don't know about you, but I fell asleep last night thinking this is not fair. They have worked so hard. I am so frustrated for them. This won't feel the same at all. And then I woke up this morning and I thought, this is a great day. This is a glorious day, not just the weather here, whether you study in one of the Winchester campuses or Loudoun or Fairfax, but it's a glorious day because we still get to celebrate you and all of your accomplishments and everything that you are going to do for the world upon graduation. No, it's not at all what we planned, but if I know anything about Shenandoah students is that they rise to the occasion. And indeed you have. You together with your faculty members have made it possible to continue to move forward and to achieve this milestone of graduation. And no matter where you are across the Commonwealth, the country or the world right now, you deserve to be celebrated. You know, I want you to know that graduating along with you today are two women who have actually planned the entire graduation virtually. They have done hundreds of hours of work to make sure that you could still graduate today. So as you celebrate and say your prayers today, I hope you'll keep Krista Humphreys and Jana Mangbat in your thoughts as well, because they made it possible even though they're working for their graduation. And also, of course, our own Reverend Dr. Rhonda Van Dyke is graduating with you today as she retires. Come October, we will celebrate each of you individually, calling your name, ensuring you have a day, a moment, that day on stage. Because that's what Shenandoah is about. It's meeting each individual where you are and getting you to where you want to be. And your faculty have done that alongside of you the whole way. You are about to get lots of well wishes for graduation from your deans and from some very special guests. You know, there are lots of famous people across the country that are doing these general commencement ceremonies or, or speeches to celebrate you, and that's really wonderful. But the messages that you're hearing today on this virtual graduation approach, they are all done only for you, Shenandoah's class of 2020. So I hope you will sit back and enjoy. You know by now that graduation is one of my two favorite days a year. It's graduation and Christmas. And right, this is not what I imagined graduation to be, but it is still the heart of the celebration that matters. 
And I don't know about you, but I love ice cream. And when you go into an ice cream store and you're looking around, you see all these flavors you're just so excited about and you can't quite choose. And then you think, if I could just have a double scoop. Well, you know what? This year, you and I, we get a double scoop for graduation. We get today's virtual ceremony, and then we get one when we're all together in October. Can't wait to celebrate you this morning and then this fall. So now, let's head on over to hear some graduation wishes for you. Let's remember where we came from as sons and daughters of the stars, and I'll meet you over in the Wilkins Athletics and Event Center for your official conferral. Do you remember that story I told you about the stars finding a home? How a cataclysmic event scatters the stars from their original home in the valley. We don't know what it was, an earthquake, a pandemic. It doesn't take long for the stars to miss one another deeply and to miss their home, which has grown more beautiful to them while they are apart from one another. But you remember this part. When they rediscover the home, the stars want to mark it permanently. Perhaps they're wise enough to know that events beyond their control, unforeseen scattering events could happen in the future. And so they take some of the light from their star crowns and place the light in the river rock. And so they mark this spot as sacred. If they are ever scattered again, they will find their way back to one another and to this place they call Shenandoah. Y'all, I checked. The starlights are still sparkling in the creek bed on campus. They will light your way home when the time is right. But until then, remember, Shenandoah means daughter of the stars, sons and daughters of the stars, children of the stars. And so you are. Hello, class of 2020 from Shenandoah University. I am Susan White Housley. I'm a very proud graduate of the conservatory. I'm also the president of Shenandoah University's Alumni Association. It is my great honor and privilege to welcome you uh, in as the various newest members of the Alumni Association. And I can tell you that we are extremely proud of you and very, very happy that you have reached this exciting point in your lives. This has taken a lot of work and a lot of commitment and effort on your behalf, and we could not be more excited for you. Although I know this graduation weekend coming up is not what you had envisioned, um, I hope that when I see you in October for graduation, it's going to be an amazing time for you, and I can't wait to see all of you there. Again, on behalf of the Alumni Association, I welcome you as new members, and I congratulate you on graduating. Good morning. My name is Rob Frogiel, and I'm the chairman of the Board of Shenandoah University's Board of Trustees. On behalf of the Board of Trustees, I'm so happy to welcome you to Shenandoah University's 2020 Virtual Commencement Ceremony. Who could have imagined that we would be doing a graduation ceremony by Zoom? No throngs of people, friends, parents, family, and faculty here together to celebrate this great day in your life. I wish that we could all be together today and celebrate your great accomplishments and the university's support to get you to this day. But here we are nonetheless, in the middle of a historic pandemic and worldwide crisis. Your parents and grandparents have experienced times such as this. Your achievements are no less important than any other previous graduating class. As a matter of fact, the world into which you are about to embark on needs you now more than ever. I would like to read to you Shenandoah University's mission statement because I believe it has more meaning now than ever before. Shenandoah University educates and inspires individuals to be critical, reflective thinkers, lifelong learners, and ethical, compassionate citizens who are committed to making responsible contributions within a community, a nation, and the world. I believe that you have been well prepared to do just that. And now more than ever, you're needed to make a difference. No matter how small or big your contributions, make the world a better place. I'm so proud of all of your hard work and proud of this university's administration, faculty, and staff 
that have helped make it possible to get you to the finish line during such tumultuous times. Congratulations and good luck. Good morning, Hornets. I wish that we could all be gathered at the Jimmy, celebrating this moment, wearing our caps and gowns with those who have taught us, inspired us, and loved us. However, these unique times call for us to celebrate one another for the time being in a different way. 2020 may well be known as a year of COVID, but on the bright side, it'll also be known as a year of the Hornet, a little pandemic humor, if you will. Jen Doa has given each of us much to be proud of. What I believe is the biggest gift from Shenandoah is the developing and the maturation of our students to be compassionate servant leaders who care. If you have been around SU long enough, I'm sure you've heard the phrase, do all the good you can in all the ways you can. This is truly the Shenandoah way. The truth is, we won't be able to fix everything, but what we can do here and now is make decisions because life is about decisions. And Shenandoah has shown us that the decision is to use our lives and dedicate our lives to service. We will speak up. We will show up. We will stand up. We will sit in. We will volunteer. We will vote. We will shout out. We will together transform whatever moment we're in, which leads to bigger moments. We have no idea what our legacy will be, but it will be stellar because we are the sons and daughters of the stars. Congratulations, Hornets. Miss you all. Graduates of the College of Arts and Sciences, this is your Dean, Jeff Coker. And I just want to say on behalf of all of the faculty and staff in the college, uh, heartfelt congratulations. We know how challenging uh, this semester has been for you. You know, in the college, we say that a liberal education, when done well, does a lot of things. But one of the things that does is prepare students for unanticipated challenges. And I can tell you graduates that the resilience and fortitude that you've shown this semester in finishing your degree uh, has made you who you are and will be with you from now on. We wish you all the best and remember that you always have a home here at Shenandoah. Congratulations. Congratulations, School of Education and Leadership graduates. Your work as educators and leaders is more important than ever. Thank you for choosing a profession that serves the common good. Be safe and be well. Hi, this is Dean Shield from the Business School giving a big shout out to all of our SU graduates and especially to the graduates of the Business School. We are so proud of you. We are really happy for you. And we hope you will come back and see us. The door is always open at the business school. Hi, this is Karen Abraham, Dean of the School of Health Professions. I want to give a big shout out to the class of 2020 and a special congratulations to the graduates from the School of Health Professions. I know that you are well prepared to provide compassionate, evidence-based care, and we just cannot wait to see you do it. Congratulations. Yes, you did it. I'm Andrea Hanlon, the Interim Dean of the School of Nursing. This unique celebration truly exemplifies our nursing students' adaptability and creativity. So I just want to say congratulations. We're very proud of you and hope to see you all in person in October. On behalf of the faculty and staff at the Dunn School of Pharmacy, congratulations, class of 2020. Having all arrived together in the summer of 2016, you are the first class that I have had the pleasure 
of knowing throughout their entire four years at the university. For this and many other reasons, I will never forget the class of 2020. Our time together is further deepened in meaning due to the academic, personal, and professional challenges we have all faced as a result of the coronavirus pandemic. As with all unexpected challenges, there are always silver linings and the pandemic is no exception. Although we are a bit overwhelmed with zooming in and have learned more than we ever wanted to know about the Tiger King, we are staying connected today and will continue to stay connected after graduation more than ever before. Congratulations, class of 2020. Hi, I'm Diane Rehm. First of all, let me offer my heartiest congratulations to each and every one of you, the Shenandoah University class of 2020. And what a year it's been for you to be graduating, a world that's changed so rapidly we can hardly recognize it. But you have persevered despite all the challenges. You finished the year doing your work online and you did it brilliantly. You didn't miss a beat. You should be incredibly proud of yourselves. And though I don't know you personally, I want you to know I, too, am incredibly proud of everything you've accomplished. You've made it through some of the toughest times we've seen in a century. I mean, you've really made it. You've risen to the challenge like the champions you are. And I have no doubt you're going to take these hard-won lessons, take them out into the world, and make it a better place for all of us. From the bottom of my heart, I want to wish you the heartiest of congratulations and ask you, please, Stay safe and be well. Hi, everyone. Uh, congratulations on your graduation uh, from Shenandoah University. Uh, this is a great time for you, really exciting. Uh, my name is Rob Jones, and I lost my legs in Afghanistan in 2010 to an IED blast. And I wanted to share a couple of lessons that I've learned since then uh, after having I uh, won a uh, bronze medal in the Paralympics and ridden my bike across the country and uh, ran 31 marathons in 31 consecutive days uh, that I've learned uh, over the course of that time that I, th I hope will help you uh, in the future you know, after this graduation. And the first is the key uh, to overcoming anything and accomplishing anything in life uh, is selflessness is acting in the best interests of the people and the things and the places that you care about more than yourself. And the second is a lesson that I kind of thought of uh, and it's called use the weight. And what I mean by that is uh, imagine that you're in a gym and you have a weight on your shoulders and you have two choices. Um, you can either hold on to that weight until you eventually run out of energy and it pins you to the ground, or you can take that weight and you can lift it over your head and you can do it again and again and again. And every time you lift that weight, every time you use it, uh, you adapt to it and you get a little bit stronger and a little bit stronger until eventually there's no, not enough weight in that gym uh, that you can't handle. And so in this particular case, the weight uh, in your life is a challenge or a stress or a difficulty. And so we have to figure out ways that we can use these difficulties and use these stresses to our advantage to make ourselves stronger and better people. And so the way that I did that was uh, I took my injury and I used it to become an athlete and I used it to raise money for veteran charities. 
uh, by riding my bike across the country and, and doing the month of marathons challenge. And in those times when it got hard, that's when I fell back on my selfless purpose um, because I wanted to, I wanted to help my fellow veterans and I wanted to do what's best for them uh, and raising this money and creating a story that they could use uh, when they were feeling difficult times. And that's what we all have to do. We all have to find that selfless purpose that's going to force us to rise to the occasion uh, in the difficult times. And then we have to figure out how we can use those difficult times uh, to do good in the world. So those are the lessons I'd like to share with you. And again, congratulations. Hello, this is Virginia Senator Mark Warner. And I just want to say a big congratulations to all the class of 2020 from Shenandoah University. You made it. Now, I know this is a wild time to be graduating, uh, but we will get through this, both in Virginia and in America. And the fact that you have now completed your, your degrees is a great achievement in your life. So celebrate with appropriate social distancing. Good luck on your future. And I hope at some point our paths will cross. Again, congratulations, class of 2020, and go Hornets. Congratulations to the Shenandoah University class of 2020. It's amazing what you have done in the face of so much uncertainty. You've continued your studies at a distance and finished up your year online without missing a beat. You've risen to the challenge like the champion you are. You should be incredibly proud of yourself. Even though the world has changed radically, you have persevered. You've really made it. You've made it through some of the toughest times we've seen in more than a century. I know you will take these hard-won lessons into a future that you'll shape in the best possible way. Congratulations on your unbelievable achievement. Go Hornets! What's up? I'm the Shark Damon John here, and congratulations, Shenandoah University graduates. You made it through some of the toughest times we've seen in more than a century. You've continued your studies at a distance and finished up a year strong online without missing a beat. Even though the world has changed radically, you kept swimming. It's amazing what you've done in an ocean of so much uncertainty. You should be incredibly proud of yourselves. Congratulations on your unbelievable achievement. I know you will take the experience of overcoming these challenging times and do something absolutely unbelievable in this world. Congratulations to the graduating class of 2020. I want to call you all my fellow sharks. Keep swimming. Hello, Shenandoah University class of 2020. Go Hornets. I want to congratulate you all. Whether you are graduating today with a bachelor's degree or a master's or a doctorate, graduation is such an important milestone. I know this is not the graduation anyone envisioned when you first enrolled at Shenandoah University. You expect it to be with your friends and family and your professors celebrating this event together at the university. I wish you could have that experience. And I hope that in October, a ceremony can happen in person for you all. But for now, the world has changed. And no matter what happens next, the world you are entering will be very different from the one you expected and planned for. We are creatures of habit and unpredictability can feel uncomfortable. I am sure many of you are concerned about what you will do now. How will you use the degree that you just earned in a changed world? While these are tough times, these challenges also present opportunities. When our old ways of doing things break down, we have to replace them. And that means we have a chance to rebuild in a different way and make things better. We have a chance to rethink our priorities and our goals. This is not the world you expect it to graduate into but life has a way of changing our plans for us. We don't have any control over that, but we do have control over how we respond. Shenandoah has given you the tools to create opportunity and embrace your future. You are all now equipped with an excellent education from an outstanding university. And yes, you are graduating 
at a difficult time. But what you do next is up to you. So aim high. You may be whatever you resolve to be. Finally, I also want to congratulate your parents, your families and loved ones, and especially your teachers. All of them worked hard to help you get here today. So wherever you are right now, I hope you're with someone who you can turn to and say, thank you. On behalf of our Commonwealth, I wish you all the best. And again, congratulations to you all. Go Hornets. President Fitzsimmons, it is my pleasure to present to you from 20 feet away <laughs> for the awarding of the appropriate degrees, those students who have completed the course of study prescribed by Shenandoah University and been pronounced proficient in that course. Graduates, now is the time. And so whether you're joining us from your living room or dining room or your bedroom or out on your front porch, go ahead and give this moment the dignity it deserves in the celebration. Stand up. And so graduates, by virtue of the authority vested in me by the Commonwealth of Virginia and the Board of Trustees, Shenandoah University hereby confers upon you the appropriate degree with all of its rights, honors, and privileges. Congratulations, graduates. I miss you all. So now is that moment, if indeed you already have your cap and gown, this would be the moment that you would move your tassel from the right to the left. And that officially signifies that you have graduated, assuming you actually did finish all of those credits. If not, we'll do it again in October, because this is the year, remember, that we're gonna get a double scoop of Shenandoah and graduation. I'm deeply grateful for all those that organize this virtual graduation for all those who joined you from across the Commonwealth, the country, and the world to celebrate you graduates. And I'm especially grateful to those VIP guests who made those pre-recorded tapes just for you so you would know how much they were celebrating along with you. I have a little gift for you all. It harkens back to that story you first heard when you arrived at Shenandoah and that Rhonda just revisited for us about the sons and daughters of the stars, the legend of Shenandoah. And while we can't see each other now, and while once you've graduated, we don't really get to see each other very much anyway, maybe there's something that can bind all together in celebration of your graduation. So on behalf of the Board of Trustees, the faculty and staff of the university, we purchased for you graduates a star in the Taurus constellation that you can see in the northern hemisphere in the winter and autumn sky, which is most of the academic year. And so that star is forever after going to be called Shenandoah University Class of 2020. We already know that you are bright, shining examples of all that is good in the world, but now everybody else can look up into the night sky and see it as well. And so sons and daughters of the stars, Rise, rise like you always do and spread goodness. Some of you are going to go straight out onto the front lines and care for those who are deeply sick. And others of you are going to entertain us and lift our spirits as we move forward. And so many of you are going to go and help us rebuild the economy. I wish you all well. Be safe. Take care of yourselves. Take care of others just like Shenandoah alums always do. And now in closing, please join me for the singing of O Shenandoah and the alma mater. Happy graduation.
You are the portal's noble, inspiring champion of our youth. You make a purpose staunch and untiring, leading tools of truth. Shenandoah, glow in radiance as your flame we tend. Beauty instill within our souls. Flashing forth your light. We shape your spirit, keen and unbending, tempering strength with right. Shen and echo fully this deep joy we sing. Honor bestow upon our lives. So this benediction comes from John Wesley, who was one of the founders of the United Methodist Church. And it kind of unites us around this common idea, especially as we send our graduates out into the world. And this is what it says. Do all the good. You can. By all the means. You can. In all the ways. You can. In all the places. You can. At all the times. You can. To all the people, you can, as long as ever, you, you can. can. Amen. Now go, go in peace. We love you. Wow. 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 Wasn't that amazing? Oh my goodness. That was amazing. There were so, so, so many surprises. Uh, God, how do you, it's really a privilege to be with everyone today. Um, what did you guys all think? That was amazing. I'm not going to lie. I wish it was nighttime so that I could go out and look for the Taurus constellation and just sit and stare at it for a while. Yeah, that's, that's I, awesome. That was beautiful. <laughs> I loved it. I, it was hard to contain the tears with the music. Also beautiful. Yes. Oh, wow. We want to thank everyone for joining, too. We had over a thousand people of, across this and Facebook. And, of course, we have wow. some questions. Everything will be posted live. And um, I also wanted to uh, give, you know, there was something else that Tracy said. I actually, you know, maybe let me see here. Let me, let me grab something here. Um, uh -oh. Let me see here. Um, all right. Let's see. Yeah, yeah. So she, talked, she talked about that double scoop here. So she handed this to me earlier. It's actually pretty heavy. So I was able to, uh, to, uh, to get a chance there to, to see that. So that double scoop is coming your all's way. We cannot wait, cannot wait to see you all uh, back on campus. And we know, we know that that will happen. So, so yeah, we all will be getting that double scoop for sure. All right. Sure. Love ice cream. <laughs> and, <laughs> and if anybody, um, if anybody has any other shout outs, we'd, we'd love seeing it. Um, and um, if you have the chance, um, definitely send a note. Send a note to those faculty who put in all that work, who, made, who, who were there late at night, who had their Zoom office hours on. Uh, send them a note of congratulations. There are so many people that I know that I've met over Congratulations, the graduates. <laughs> You are all stars, class of 2020. Woo! <laughs> oh, we had a little drop in. Oh. <laughs> I want to get in on the action as well. Hi, graduates. Congratulations. Thanks to everybody and your families for being here. We are so proud of you. I send you a big virtual air hug. 
Awesome. Well, there's no way to know if that was really Tracy or Adrian. (laughs) (laughs) Who are those mass leaders? (laughs) That was amazing. We want to thank everyone um, very much. And uh, we enjoyed having everyone here. And is there any final thoughts? Anyone, any, anyone got any final thoughts, any recaps, any, anything that uh, just really uh, took them by surprise? I mean, whoa, those VIPs, Globetrotters. The Globetrotters, that was awesome. Sam and John, that was awesome. Having all those big names, VIPs, just give us all, a thing, uh, give the class of 2020 congratulations. That was really cool. Yeah, I think it's safe to say that none of us will ever forget the class of 2020. Uh, and I'm okay with that. I'm okay with always remembering this class and how special it was absolutely it was one of the most energetic classes that i've had um and i think they'll need that energy to make an impact in the world so uh, congratulations yes well congratulations and congratulations to you all and this will be posted along with the all the videos and everything else uh, very, very shortly. You can actually go off to go out to Facebook and, and watch it all over again. Make sure you have extra, extra tissues on that one. Um, <laughs> it was a fabulous, fabulous day. And uh, we're really, really proud of all of you, all of you graduates. And I want to thank the team that helped put this together. Uh, the many wonderful people that made all of this happen. Um, and throughout this week, the school's presentations um, last night too at baccalaureate, um, everything was just so excellent and I uh, just want to say thank you for, for all of that, that as well. And uh, we're excited and planning. There'll be a lot of, of things coming out um, uh, just right after, right after today. That's awesome. Awesome. All right. Well, thank you. Thank you, panelists. So again, I'm Scott Spriggs and I'm the Vice President of Marketing and Recruitment. Does everyone else want to say goodbye? I'll say goodbye. Love you, class of 2020. It was so awesome spending the morning with you. I look forward to seeing you again in person, hopefully very, very soon. Hasta pronto, graduados. Buena suerte. We love you and we'll miss you. Be healthy. Yes, congratulations, everyone, and especially our conservatory. Thank you so much for all of the amazing things that uh, you've you've helped us with over the past few months and the past few years. Um, You got a bright future. That's right. I couldn't agree more. Thank you for letting me be a part of this beautiful day with you guys. I love you. Congratulations on graduation. Congratulations, class of 2020. Uh, When you come back in October, I'll be happy to celebrate with you and celebrate now with your family and friends. That's right, Malik. Yeah, definitely. Celebrate now. Celebrate now. Well, you guys are all in our hearts and minds, and we really appreciate everyone joining us today. Enjoy, enjoy this graduation day. So proud of you guys. Muchas felicidades. Hasta pronto. 